People probably talk about this topic quite a bit. You'll always hear people talking about their hatred or fear of the looming little old man task. Nobody really wants to actually do 24 plus story cog buildings. I mean, I literally can't argue with you on that one. But on this one, I'm going to take the kind of minority approach here. You see this guy? This guy's my pal. Maybe just for this video, then I can hate him again, but regardless. I don't like when you're mean to my pal. Whoa, man, whoa, come on now, bro, that's totally uncalled for. This guy has a family. Probably. Maybe. But this guy still has feelings, you know. Okay, so, it's obvious. Many people hate little old man and everything he stands for. There's nothing but hatred for this rabbit in Toontown. But to me, and you may not agree, but that's the beauty of opinions, but to me, he's genuinely good. Good for you and good for Toons overall. You can throw fits and declare your undying anger and thirst for revenge against this bunny, but at the end of the day, he legitimately provides something extremely valuable to everyone who goes through with his tasks. Strategy. Might be something not too many people have considered, but when you need to repeatedly do cog bosses for that lovely fresh ice cream cone or buildings for that stinking wig powder, you learn strategy. You might know it already, it might not be your first go around, but you have to admit, tunes going through the game, especially maybe in the younger demographic, may not still quite fully grasp the battling system and what strategies you should use in certain situations. Doing building after building, boss after boss puts them through this phase of learning where they can watch others guide them through and get taught the best strategies possible to actually become a better player. It's pretty simple to me. Everything is relatively a cakewalk by yourself up until that point. You can get by pretty easily with not much strategy and not so wise gag choices up until those big tasks and during what comes afterwards. I think, if anything, at the base of it all, it's at least a good teaching tool for many tunes. You can't really do it alone unless you're controlling multiple tunes or you've done enough on Toontown already to be well versed enough to manage your way through a solo little old man run. So I just think strategy is a solid thing gained and a good point to note from little old man. Secondly, and this is the main reason the task is even in the game, is gag training. Let's be real here. When you get into Donald's Dreamland, that's when stuff starts to get real. Level 12's galore and 5 story buildings, cashbot suit part training, the eventual need to do mints full of level 10 and 11 cogs, your Auga just isn't gonna quite do the damage needed. <coughs> the keynote from the final gag training task he gives you is exactly that. Gag training. I'll be the first to admit that my gags can honestly be pretty underleveled by the time I reach little old man. It just happens with the pace. You can get through all of those early playgrounds pretty quickly and you can have the gags to really show for that. Unless you explicitly trained your gags before that point, which plenty of people genuinely do, it's a good point in time for you to be able to catch up on your gags, and I assume that's exactly what the developers had in mind, adding this task in before you reach the final playground of the game. To drive the point forward, you could do all 20 buildings training a track that you have never worked a single minute on, in this instance let's say Tune Up. Using TTR's cap of 300 per building, you could take your feather gag from 0 EXP to juggling cubes at 6000 EXP by the time you finished all the buildings. You can literally catch up completely on a gag track you have not worked on at all during the little old man task. And that's not even accounting for the simple spoon, ice cream cone, and powder portions of the little old man task. All of this is just going towards preparing you for the end game battles. It's a bit of a steep jump, I'll admit, but it provides valuable experience and training for everybody on their way to reach the end of the game. Now I'll also admit that with the good there comes the bad. It definitely comes across as one of the few tasks in the game that many consider more as work rather than fun. And I can understand that. It becomes a giant grind essentially that you just have to spend hours on to trying to complete. It's about as fun as taking a trip down Polar Place to good old Pinecone Zone and dropping by for exciting Pinecone action. Yeah, I still don't know why I thought that was a good idea. Anyways, it's almost a test of character. I know that it might be a bit of a jump, but it really puts you in a position where you can say, Hey, I'm gonna go get this thing done and I'm gonna move towards Donald's Dreamland. Or, Man, this task is gonna take forever, I'm just gonna shut off Toontown and take a break. For a month. 
The second one was definitely me to be honest. I hated it the first time around, but by the time I got around to it the second and third time, it really became less and less of work and more and more of a benefit to me. It really helped me level up my gags before I got to a place where I needed better gags than the ones I had at the time. Many of you might disagree for various reasons, but to me, this is just how I feel about Little Old Man. It'll continue to be something that many people complain about, and there's a right to it. It is a pretty long and grindy task, but I hope my view kind of helps put things in maybe a better perspective for you. In fact, maybe we should realize Little Old Man isn't bad at all. In fact, maybe we should realize he's fantastic. The best, the greatest tune in all of Toontown. We'll have entire lawn fests dedicated in his honor. We'll do everything he... Eh... Uh, nah. He's not that great. And if that hasn't done anything at all for you, I'll provide for you exactly what you were looking for. Thanks for watching. If you have any topics you'd want to see me cover in a rant, leave it in the comments and I'll be sure to reply. Thank you, everybody. Do you like what you see? Want to help me in making videos just like this one? Help support me and my videos by joining my Patreon. It's a funding website designed to allow YouTube creators just like me to gain support to be able to produce videos regularly. So if you enjoy my videos, it would mean the world to me if you could lend a hand to help me make more. I want to thank you all for watching my videos. I want to thank you all for the support. And I'll see you in my next video.